Terry Lester plays Jack Abbott in The Young and the Restless Eye. <laughs> I know many of you watch this man who is the president of the cosmetics firm and a womanizer. You are such a rotten person, a <laughs> rotten, terrible. Is it fun? Is it fun playing it? It's great fun. Um, I, I probably have never enjoyed playing a role as much, although it's hard to compare them. But uh, I think that Jack Abbott is one of the greatest characters on TV right now. Are you ever going to be honest with a woman? <laughs> <laughs> honest? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I know what leads them astray. It's mm. your eyes. Look at those blue eyes. That's yeah. oh, <laughs> yeah, just stop looking. He'll get you in trouble every okay, time. Okay, we can talk about those my eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the blind leading the drop. <laughs> the show's been on the air eleven years. Uh, ten. Ten in just started going into our the eleventh season. Yes. How long have you been a part of the show? I just started my fourth. Fourth. Yes. Well, that's a pretty good for Time a kid. Time flies when you're in. The University of Pennsylvania did a study of soap operas, mm -hmm. and they came up with some very interesting observations and yes. conclusions. Yes, I bet we were the seamiest, weren't we? Well, I want you to see if you agree or disagree with some of these statements oh, from right. the University of Pennsylvania. Number one, there is a significant difference in the sexual content of daytime programming, namely your soaps, mm -hmm. as opposed to evening programming. Would mm -hmm. you agree or disagree? Uh, I, I would agree. Um, it's, it's been known and said for a long time that we get away with a lot more during the day than they do at night, uh, primarily because uh, I guess the thinking is that uh, children are at school during the day, uh, which probably isn't true, but um, uh, I think that's the thinking behind it. So the, the standards are a little stricter uh, at night when children are home from school and not doing their homework. Is there any subject <laughs> untouchable for Bolton? Mm. Untouchable. That they would really, that the censors would really put a kibosh on. Oh. Say, no, we can't have that. That's not can't oh. handle that. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I, I think we would probably have a problem with incest. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, maybe even homosexuality. Um, uh, I, uh, I don't know. They make me wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> okay. Here's another observation that heavy watching of soaps can distort a viewer's idea about adult sexuality. Would you agree or disagree? Distort? Mm -hmm. There's so much kissing and carrying on, you know, that it might distort. They think it does distort. Mm. Distort. Uh, well, I'm all for kissing and hugging myself. <laughs> and, I, and I mean that. Um, I think that we don't do enough of it. I, I think that, that many of us uh, trudge through life feeling kind of alone and uh, and like we'd like to have a little more love. I think that's why people watch uh, watch us do it instead of going out and doing it themselves because <laughs> they feel like it's not permitted. All right now this may be of rather of interest to you. Uh -huh. They study the three networks um, <clears throat> and they counted the number of in quotes intimate sexual acts per hour. Mm. CBS rated the highest yeah. with 2.19 per hour. 2.19. 2.19. ABC was next with 2.18. This was over how much period of time? I don't know how no. long the, the, the survey okay. took. Okay. And NBC was last with 1. I'd like to see a 1.64 intimate act. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? <laughs> because yeah. uh, because the, those, uh, those correspond to the... Uh, the Nielsen ratings of the three networks. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I must have been right in what I said yes. in answer to your last question. Yeah. People need that stuff, <laughs> you know? <laughs> they, they're we not, gotta up not that. getting enough. Right, 1.64 is just not enough per no, hour. No, no love in the world. Okay, now here I think is the most interesting observation from the University of Pennsylvania study, that kids that watch soaps are less likely to use drugs. Well, for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how to respond to that unless uh, uh, people uh, use the term uh, addiction all the time about their favorite soap. Maybe it takes the place of it. Well, in it's many ways you're right, because I think there's, there's a certain passivity in sitting watching television. True. And if you're kind of glued to the tube and you're involved, then you maybe mm -hmm. don't go out and do some of the other stuff. I, I, uh, and, and I guess for kids, uh, they would be indoors and, as opposed to being out on the street getting in mm -hmm. trouble. So. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, mm -hmm. I'm a babysitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, do the sensors ever bother you in terms, terms of having to clean up yourself? All the time. All the time. Um, I'm a pretty spontaneous performer. Uh, uh, much of what Jack does is, as I say, is a surprise to me, and I like to improvise uh, because uh, I know Jack pretty well, and uh, and so uh, his uh, one-liners kind of slip out sometimes. And uh, uh, what was the question? <laughs> Do the sensors bother you? The sensors bother me. Yes, um, a lot of times. Uh, well, I remember one time um, we were doing a scene in which um, Jack walked into the laboratory and, and, and found uh, his sister Ashley uh, kissing her boss. And, uh, and Jack, being the president of the company, you know, was paying these people uh, to be down here in the lab kissing. And so uh, Jack said when he walked in, I'm sure glad I'm not paying you two to discover the cure for cancer. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't they let wouldn't me say it. Them. They were afraid of offending people. Mm. Um, um, uh, and like I said, they make me wear underwear. Oh dear. Well, one last thing, Terry. Um, uh, Steve Ford, mm -hmm. who is the son of President Ford, is mm -hmm. uh, a member of the cast. <laughs> Do they, you laugh? <laughs> what do you laugh? I'm having a good time. <laughs> do, do people treat him deferentially, or no. are there any guards around? Are there? Is he guarded? Well, uh, you know, those Secret Service guys are uh, are supposed to be uh, invisible. So maybe I don't know. Maybe they're there in your. your yeah, I'm not aware of it, and. Uh, uh, no, and as far as being deferential to Stephen, no, he's just one just of the guys. Just a guy. regular guy. Yeah, and he's he's a really really nice guy too. Okay, will you clean up your act now? Hmm. Okay, okay. but uh, <laughs> you know if the ratings go down, uh, <laughs> I'll be responsible. Uh -huh. Okay, Terry Lester is his name. He plays Jack Abbott on The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Pleasure. We'll be watching for you every day, Monday through Friday, here I'll, on Ten Eleven Strong. I'll be there. Okay, stay with us. Ten Eleven Morning continues.